Shopify for services. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over everything you need to know about Shopify, what it is, and how you can use Shopify to sell your different services. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you might be wondering is what is Shopify and how do you sell services on Shopify? Well, Shopify is an e-commerce platform where you can sell anything that you might like. So it might be a service or a product, but today we are going to focus on how you can actually sell your services on Shopify. So I'm just going to log into my account over here and you can see that I have a basic account on Shopify and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start by creating my inventory of services. So on your Shopify account, you can see on your left that you have your homepage, you have your orders, you have products, customers, finances, analytics, marketing, discounts and apps. And the first step to actually get started with your business is usually to add your products and because you're selling services, you you're not going to add products in the product section, but you're actually going to add services. So before we actually do that, you can actually go over the Shopify dashboard and see all of the different features that might be useful for you for in terms of invoicing and marketing. You get a, quite a few features for that as well. And within Shopify, you can see over here, you can manage your account and you can create different stores as well. So make sure to click that link in the description box down below to get started with Shopify. So now to create our uh, store for our services let's say uh, i'm creating a therapy clinic so maybe i'm a psychiatrist and i'm looking to create my clinics online uh, online store or online um, booking center so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the product section and i'm just going to click on add product over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add maybe um counseling or anything like that so counseling and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a description for the service so let's just say it is a one hour session um excluding client history and what i'm going to do after that is you can add an image if you want if you have a logo design for your service i would suggest you add those and if you don't have logos already um try to create a logo for your service if an image is not suited for it and after that you're going to add your pricing so let's say that the price for a single counseling session is um 70 dollars and i'm going to add that and after that i am going to add the stock if you want but obviously you don't really need that so we're going to remove these options we're going to leave them empty and then you're going to click on shipping and then you're going to make sure you make sure to um, deselect this because this is not a physical product this is a um, actual service that you're providing so after that what you're going to do is you can see on your right over here you have your active products or draft so we're going to add one active product and then you can add any specific vendor that you want but you can just add the therapist's name if you want to do that and after that you can add the product type so uh, whatever category this product falls in you can add that as well or product or service falls in you're going to add that as well now once you do that you can see that in your online store you have your default product and you're just going to click on save over here and now my service has been created. So this is how easy it is to start adding your uh, services onto your uh, service list on Shopify and Shopify has really simplified the entire process for anyone that would like to sell their services online. Now, with your service created, you can just follow up and create more services as you go just like this, just like I just did. But after that, you need to start doing uh, a little more in terms of your online store. So you're going to go into the online store section over here, and this is going to be your actual storefront. So you can choose to just go on to the different theme libraries and explore the free themes that are available on Shopify. And you can visit their theme store as well, and you can browse the paid themes and the free themes if you don't know how to design a website. If you're not good with uh coding or you don't know any know-how of that you can definitely start off with a theme so what you're going to do is you're just going to click on explore free themes and for your uh, therapy clinic or whatever i'm just going to browse these free themes and what i'm going to do is i'm going to look at a simplistic theme i don't want this to be too crowded or anything but this actually looks like a great theme for a actual therapy clinic so i'm just going to click on add to theme library and after doing that, I'm just going to wait until 
this has loaded onto my dashboard and now I'm just going to click on customize over here and once I have clicked on customize you can see that this is the basic uh, empty template that I just looked at now you can add your titles and taglines as you go so you're just going to click on over here then you can click on add title or tagline so we can do this over here so the experience or anything like that you can add uh, a few details about your clinic uh, you can definitely add some customer reviews if people are already visiting your clinic you can add their uh, personal experiences with your overall therapy center and now with this you can also add images so what you're going to do is you're going to select image over here you're going to click on upload an image and i'm just going to go into my downloads and use this image that I got from stock photos. You can also click on free images over here and use images from there as well. I already had this image, so I just went with that. But once I have done that, I'm just going to add the image. You can move it around if it's a larger image and we're just gonna click on select. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the text section and then I am going to add some taglines like therapy is for everyone whatever tagline you might have but i think i'm just gonna leave it at a singular sentence and once i have done that i'm just going to i think this looks pretty good so i'm just gonna leave this at that now on your header you can also change how you want everything to appear so you can add any announcement on the header so what you're going to do is you're going to add text over here and let's just say we are adding clinic since 2012 like this and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change these things and i'm just going to go back and what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove these sections so what you can do is you can just click on any section that you might want to remove and you're just going to click on the section and on the bottom left you're going to find this section called remove section so i'm just going to remove these excess sections that i don't really need for my overall website and once i'm satisfied with all of that uh, and i'm satisfied with how all of it looks what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on publish and save so i'm just going to browse through and see if there's anything else i would want to change and obviously you can manage your pages from the top center over here as well and make sure to click that link in the description to get started with shopify to sell your own services may those be um, any kind of services it could be cleaning services it could be house help services it could be makeup services anything that you're doing you can easily create a very nice and simple storefront and a product management e-commerce store just from shopify so i have saved these changes i'm just going to publish this and i can just click on publish over here now, after I have published my store, people can start purchasing my services and I can start providing those services via Shopify. So this is how easy it is to create a store with Shopify for your services. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys in the next video.